as most of my subscribers know, as well as those who have been tuned into the channel for a while, that I have been working on the National Geographic Channel's award-winning docu-series Narco Wars for the past two seasons. Last season, I associate produced episode one, which was titled The Heroin Don. It specifically delved into Carmine Galanti and the heroin trafficking routes that were established in Canada to funnel heroin into the Northeast U.S., which became known as the Pizza Connection. And uh, for those of you who have not seen that episode yet, you can stream it currently on Hulu. If you do not have Hulu, it is available on a plethora of other streaming platforms. I just don't have a list in front of me, so you'll have to Google that. But pertaining to this season, season three, I associate produce episode three, which is airing tonight on the National Geographic channel, which is why I'm doing this to promote the episode and hopefully give you guys enough of a heads up to be able to tune in later on. The episode is titled The Mob and the Muhadeen. So obviously based on that title, uh, you can see that we have worked in the Afghan angle of production and distribution of heroin. I can't get too detailed on uh, the information that I give prior to the episode premiering as far as, you know, uh, stating who our experts are that we booked uh, to use on screen, but I can definitely vouch that they're excellent experts. Uh, we get a bit more in depth in this episode than we did in episode one of season two as far as the angles that we approach from. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more in depth. Uh, the two episodes definitely intertwine. So uh, it's definitely going to be worth tuning in for. And I just wanted to read you this uh, promotional synopsis that Nat Geo put together to describe the episode. So basically what they state is the mob and the Mujahideen, the war in Afghanistan provides the perfect conditions for the creation of the world's most ambitious narcotics smuggling operation. An exiled mafia boss connects with an Afghan drug trafficker to set up a 7,000 mile long pipeline that pumps premium grade heroin into the United States. More than a billion dollars of profits roll in before a joint federal FBI DEA task force takes it down. So that is their synopsis on the episode. And just to kind of expand on that a little bit, um, in my research into the Mujahideen pertaining to their production and distribution of heroin, um, not only for this episode, but what I've researched around it. Um, the Mujahideen in Afghanistan definitely became central players in the heroin game. They transformed the desolate nation into essentially the world's first narco state where narcotics ultimately dominated Afghan politics, their economy, as well as determining the fate of foreign intervention. So it just definitely gives a good scope into the makeup for Afghanistan, what backed their economy, their money. Um, so it's definitely going to be an episode worth tuning into, and I hope you guys do. I'm probably going to do a follow-up episode like I did with uh, episode one of season two to kind of do a breakdown of this after it airs. Uh, so that will probably be coming. I have some other things lined up. So uh, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will uh, be uploading soon.